for our next guest, that dream can very quickly become a nightmare. Now, Liz Poole has been battling her neighbours for 14 years over the smoke from their fireplaces. Her kids have asthma, which is aggravated by the smoke. Liz says it makes the air quality in her house so bad it's the equivalent of having someone smoking cigarettes inside. But she says she's fighting an uphill battle to get anything done about it. And Liz joins us now from Melbourne, joining us here in the studio, Asthma Australia CEO Michelle Goldman. Morning to you both. Uh, Liz, let's go to you first. As we said, your kids have asthma. How does the smoke from your neighbour's wood fire affect them? Well, um, thanks, Monique. Um, well, we noticed that when there's um, more smoke coming over that it increases the kids' um, asthma symptoms, unfortunately. Um, we've had a couple of really bad winters where the smoke has been really sort of thick and um, our oldest child in particular, um, she's had, um, you know, she's had to be taken to hospital mm. um, and we've had real difficulty getting the asthma under control. But the other thing it does is that the kids... Um, you know, they can't play in their backyard. We can't open our doors and windows. I mean, the kids have to run from the front door to get to the car and all that sort of stuff. But it's not just their asthma as well. We um, really worry about the longer-term implications as well. We know that wood smoke has um, a range of sort of health harms. You know, it can um, lead to strokes and heart attacks and cancers and lung conditions. And the girls have been, um, you know, exposed to this over the last 14 years and we're really sort of worried that, um, you know, there's no information being put out about that to mm, the community mm. and we're sort of really worried about the long-term effects on their health, not yeah. just the short-term effects of asthma. Michelle, let's bring you in, given that you're Asthma Australia CEO. I would not have thought that wood from a fire can cause these sorts of health issues with kids with asthma. How big a problem is it? It's a pretty serious problem, especially in the winter months. So wood smoke is harmful to health. It produces toxic chemicals and it also produces small particulates that penetrate deep into the lungs and are especially a problem for people with asthma. And, and this is what's happening to Liz's children because she's done some readings on the particles and that as well, hasn't she? Yeah. That, that's right. Look, I'm biased on this. I have three asthmatic children. One of my children had an asthma attack yeah. this week. It wasn't from wood fires, but... I look at this as being like nuts. You know, you, we don't send our kids to school with nuts because we know that some kids are anaphylactic to it. And, yeah, that ruins it, ruins the experience for kids that love nuts. And this would ruin the experience for people that love their wood fires. But isn't that a sacrifice that we have to make? Yeah, unfortunately, wood smoke is really harmful to health. And wood smoke knows no boundaries. So it's not only a risk for the people who are burning the fire, but for their neighbours and people who live in their area as well. So we need to be considerate of others in our community. We need to consider the health impacts for ourselves and others. And um, we need to consider alternate heating options. But one of the things that you were suggesting, Liz, is perhaps just have days of the week that you could, you could be running your, your wood fire. Is that right? Would you be happy with a compromise? Um, well, uh, it depends. I mean, the problem is, is that um, any level of wood smoke is not safe. I mean, um, and I mean, maybe if it was a really windy day, I mean, a bit of the problem is that, that, that on those still days, like for us, all the uh, smoke from our neighbour's wood heater sort of settles all over the house. I mean, one thing that we did was we thought, well, look, maybe it's not that bad. You know, we've got all our doors and windows shut. We've sealed up our house. Maybe the smoke is actually not that bad. So what we thought we'd do is we hired a particle counter to sort of have a look and see just how much smoke was getting into the house. So we, um, first of all, we took a measurement um, when there was no smoke outside and there was no particles in our house, according to the particle counter. But then we waited for our neighbours to light up their wood heater. And then what we found was, you know, over the space of half an hour, the particle counter started going up mm. and it went up to the level that we would equivalently have a smoker in our house. Well, I really feel for you. I, I can't imagine why you would continue burning it if you knew that there were children next door that were having asthma attacks from it. Yeah. Thank you very much for telling us about it, Liz. Thank you, Michelle. Thank Appreciate you.